Okay, here we go. I'm making this video for all those of you who have been PMing me regarding information on how to take the ASK unit out. I figure since I'm also doing that, I might as well give you guys the correct info on the auxiliary plug for those of you that have a facelift ASK unit and a facelift MMI, which is up there. Now, first thing I like to do is pop the top drawer and I use my pry tools here that I picked up at Harbor Freight. Yes, they say China for I believe 10 bucks, maybe five between five and 10 bucks. I stick it in here and I pry, I pop off this side wood panel. Actually, you know what? Uh, you don't have to pop off these little side panels in order to get the ask unit out. But as I said, I'm going to show you the entire thing here, so I'm going to do that. In order to just just get your ask unit out, you would only need to pop open the drawer and pop off the wood piece that goes wood trim that goes around the ask unit. There's two clips on this side and two clips on the driver's side. You can take the wood off, set it to the side. After you do that, here let me get this other piece of wood out of the way. Here set it to the side after you do that there are three screws Phillips screwdriver one screw here in the middle which is a small screw so be careful not to drop that one and lose it a screw here on the left side and a screw over here on the right side all Phillips heads you take all three of those out and then you go back to your pry tool and you can pop it under and pry the ask unit up a little so that way it slides forward once you have it slid forward, there are two plugs. One for the phone keypad, which is here. That just unplugs, as you see, I just did that. And then there's a plug for the ask unit, which I will have to switch hands here. And you will have to go in, and at the bottom of the plug, you will have to pinch and pull towards the front of the car, and the plug will come out. Then your ask unit is free. Now, on the back of the ASK unit, here I'll film, on the back of the ASK unit here, let me try to put this down so I can use both hands here, on the back of the ASK unit here, this section right here is where the auxiliary plug plugs in, just below the 15 amp fuse, the auxiliary plug plugs in there, um, it actually plugs into the existing harness here, this is the ASK unit harness. The auxiliary plug actually plugs in down here in this empty slot. In turn, that plugs into the back of the ASK. Now, here, oh gosh, I just dropped it. Let me grab it. Okay, here, let me switch hands. Here, right here in my hand, is part of the adapter that plugs into the ASK unit plug. And here in this box here, is the auxiliary plug OEM part from BMW here I'll get the OEM part number for you on the top is 65120153502 now we'll open that up and pull this plug out for you set it down let me move this box and one end is auxiliary the other end is the plug now you will have to reassign the pins in order for this to work on your 745, 750, uh, E65 or E66. Um, the pin number I will give you right now to clarify any information that has been given to you by anyone else. If you look at this here, see if I could get it. The top row starts with number 1 to 6. Bottom row is 7 to 12. Now, as you can see, my top row, there's nothing in number one. In slot number two, pin two, I have the right plug for right sound from the auxiliary. Nothing else is plugged in the top row, as you can see. Let me get a better view of that. Nothing else. Bottom row, first hole, is pin number seven. That is left. So you get left sound. Second hole second slot is pin number eight which you can see I have something plugged in there which that is ground 
that is where the pins should be in order for you to get sound okay now I don't want to get out of let me see I'm gonna try to plug this in to the existing piece where it goes and I got it upside down I don't want this I want all this to be on video so nobody could say I edited anything it's all in one shot I'm putting this in trying to put it in and I'm putting it in backwards oops okay there we go it's in now you see that's in there I have not changed any pins from what I just told you they were which is pin 2 right pin 7 left pin 8 ground now you will see me plug this in the back of the ask unit harness one hand again because I don't want anybody saying I edited anything and there it is snapped in place you can see I have not changed any of the wiring whatsoever the pins are still at pin 2, pin 7, and pin 8. Now I'm going to flip this around so I can plug this into the back of the ask. I'm going to have to turn the ask over. Now in order to plug this in, let me switch hands. Okay. Hold on. I have to make sure this is open. This right here, see it closed on me. So I have to open that, like that. You can see from the side I opened it. I'm going to slide the ask. This is a little difficult to do with one hand, so bear with me. I'm going to slide the ask unit closer. You see I have not changed any of the pins. They're exactly where I said they were. I'm trying to get this harness in. You can see on tape, on video. I'm trying to get it in there. Come on, get in. There, I got it in. It snapped in place. Here is the phone keypad plug, which I'll plug that into. Um, where's the other end of that? Auxiliary is right here. Auxiliary is right there. I will leave it like that, and I will start my car. So you can see I've done nothing different. Turn off my AC. Sorry, it's hot over here. I had the AC on. I have changed nothing. Nothing whatsoever. I mean, now here is an auxiliary cord that I'm going to plug into the auxiliary plug here. One hand, of course. And on this other hand here, I'm going to grab the other end of the cord. Put it up there. I'm going to grab my old iPhone 4. And I'm going to plug this in, my old iPhone 4 on the top here, one, one hand. I'm going to leave the iPhone 4 on top of the ask unit. I'm going to show you here, okay, my MMI, look, I'll try to get it all in one shot. My MMI is uh, reading my iPod. I have the uh, OEM iPod in my car, so it's reading my iPod. I will scroll down to auxiliary I will hit that you see the auxiliary feature comes up I will then go to my iPhone and go to music and hit play on something and what do you know if you look at my iPhone it says Doug Passion by Tupac and what do you hear coming from my car? And like I said, again, that is pin number two, right, pin number seven, left, pin number eight, ground. I made this video to clarify to anybody so that they can see I have not edited anything and I am giving you the exact location of everything. Now, like I said, if you look inside my center console, I had an auxiliary in here that I kind of rigged up to work as I said I didn't get the original plug I have the iPhone cradle in here and I have uh, my car set up for uh, audio video in my car that's why it's in pieces I took the auxiliary I took the old auxiliary out and I'm using the one I just purchased that I've had for several months uh, there are two people that know I have had auxiliary for several months uh, one would be a member on the site which is B7 M4 uh, 
W5, I believe. His name is Carlos. He lives here in Southern California. There's another member on the site. His name is Rookie. He also knows I have had auxiliary for several months. So I am not taking credit for anybody else's work. Now I will show you here on the steering wheel. I'll try to get it all. You can hear the radio getting louder. I'm pushing the button. You can hear the radio getting lower. I will go here to my iPhone and I will swipe it here and I will hit pause so you can see that it is playing from my iPhone. There you go. It's paused. I'll hit play again. I'll hit forward to go to the next song. Taking a second to go. There it goes. I'll hit forward again. Next song. I'll hit back again. And back one more time to Thug Passion. As you can see, I will show you here that only works on the phone. I am pointing at the phone and the steering wheel. You cannot forward auxiliary with the steering wheel controls or back. You have to touch the phone or MP3 or whatever you're using. The volume does work. I'm filming the volume. Lower. Louder. But the back and forward does not work on auxiliary plug. I will pause again as proof that this is what's playing. And play and music starts. Here is the phone plugged into auxiliary. Auxiliary here. Oops, that's my fault. I hit, I grounded it out. And the plug in the back, I'm pointing out with the pin positions as I stated and showed you as I hooked everything up and plugged everything in. Pin number two for right, pin number seven for left, pin number eight for ground. Now I'll go up to the MMI here and I'll hit auxiliary and you can see I'm going to raise the volume and you should hear the volume go up. And then I'll lower the volume, and you see the volume go down, you hear it go down. Now I want to actually get out of auxiliary, hit it again. Go up here to something else that somebody was crying about. And you see that it is no longer playing on, um, on the auxiliary. I can go to CD. And it will go to, I think, track. Yes, track one. That's whatever's in my ask unit. I don't know what's in there, so I couldn't tell you. And then I can go to my iPod unit, which I don't even know if I have it plugged in. Do I? I have to check my glove box. Oh, it looks like it came unplugged. You slide it back in. I mean, here, get that on film. You see I have a Nano here. Try to plug this back in. Um, there it goes. It's plugged in. Guess I am plugged in at some point. As you can see, my... It's up here. It's going to take a bit to read. Um, back to the auxiliary. Everything's working fine. I'll go back to it here. And it's still playing what I was listening to on the phone. And like I said, here you can hear it go volume go up, volume go down. Um, it doesn't automatically pause, of course. I'll turn off the car. And it doesn't automatically pause. I'll focus in on the phone here. It continues playing. It continues playing. So you actually have to manually hit pause. Um, I'll put the put the key back in start the car again and you can hear it started playing because I didn't pause it uh, I guess that's it for the video just to clarify the pinouts are pin number two for right pin number seven for left and pin number eight for ground and I'm gonna stop the video now